I've been doing so many things. Adriana, I think this was probably one of the best ones I've ever done. I mean, every, everything just went smooth. You know, and, and look at the timing down there. That whole thing didn't take but 45 minutes. That's it, folks. You, you are know, like a Ferrari driver. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to teach you something here that's going to save you a lot of money. And it has to do with motivation. See, people ask me, Don, how do you motivate your people? Because I live in San Diego and 99% of my people are in Europe. And I say, I don't motivate them. I teach them how to motivate themselves. Okay? Well, how do you do it? There's two ways. One, I had a publisher in Australia one time tell me that he read my book 10 times. But see, every time he read it, he was writing it at, at a different level. He learned something new. That's why we encourage people to come back to the Zoom trainings, because if you've only heard this thing once, I'll guarantee you, you did not get everything you need to know, okay? You got to hear it, you know, at least a couple, three times. And it's not going to vary a half of 1% from one week to the next. But what varies is after we get through with my training, then we go to Q&As. There's always something different on the Q&As. So there's always something new that you can you can learn you know with that so that's um that's kind of kind of important okay so motivation the other way is duplication now how does duplication motivate you okay this is so simple when you hear it you'll, you'll be amazed you didn't think of it yourself let's say that you're duplicating and you're three four five levels deep and you're sound asleep and you wake up in the morning and you look at your internet and you see that while you were sleeping, someone signed up somebody in your downline. Boy, are you excited or what? Okay. What happens if they do it again next week? And what if someone else in the downline signs somebody? See, not counting weekends, when I look at my computer in the morning, I'm averaging over 600 people a day that are signing up in my business. See, it didn't start with 600, it started with one, okay? But just even that one for a new person is gonna excite and motivate you. Now, you do understand that when people are recruiting people to sell, they, would, they never would get this kind of motivation, okay? Because those people never do anything. And this is a good place to explain to you the difference between you know, people say, well, what's the difference between selling and, and, and a network marketing? Well, it's, the answer is really quite simple. When you are recruiting people to sell, you are like a sales manager and those people are working for you, okay? When you are sponsoring and teaching people to duplicate, build a family of consumers, you are working for them, okay? So when I sponsor someone, I'm working for them. When they sponsor someone, they're working for their person and I'm still working for them. And when they sponsor someone, see, as you go deep, every step you go down, the person progressively has one more person working for them. That never happens in, in sales. Now, the other thing that once you understand having 10 active people in your downline, you can go the rest of your life and never sponsor another person, okay? Because 10 goes to 100 people you gotta meet, goes to 1,000 people you can meet, goes to 10,000 people. I mean, you, you're busy the rest of your life, never having to sponsor another person. People are recruiting people to sell, they can never give up looking for people to recruit because that's what they're doing. They keep looking for people to recruit and people are dropping off faster than they can add them. They can never give up. I mean, it's just, Terrible. So anyway, Adriana, where did you go? Oh, she left me on my own. Okay. Okay. So questions. No. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> oh, you disappeared. Okay. I would like to ask you uh, to explain everybody what is um, the difference of equity in different approaches of MLM. Well, first of all, let me. I'll answer the question, but let me give you a quick review on the history of network marketing because it's gone through three major stages. The first stage was 
having a hotel meeting. People would meet in a hotel, okay? And you would go and hope your people, you would invite people and you'd hope they'd show up, okay? Uh, second thing is that, uh, well, let me tell you what happened. We were in New York, New Jersey at one month at this Marriott Hotel by the airport. And every Thursday they had a, a opportunity meeting. And so down we went down to the lobby and we observed this, okay, every week. They would lug in all their products, either recruiting people to see very many people that would be at the opportunity meeting. But then after the meeting, everybody was in the restaurant, plus more people, or three, four times more people in the restaurant than were at their opportunity meeting. So as time went on, people quit renting the hotel rooms and just went, started straight doing the meeting in the restroom, calling, you know, them sizzle sessions. And actually, you know, for what you paid to rent a room, you could have bought everybody dinner, you know? So anyway, it went to sizzle sessions. And then of course now with Zoom, that's the new phase, the latest phase, which, uh, you know, that's eliminated sizzle sessions. In fact, in the new updated edition of the book, all this is being upgraded. We don't, you don't do sizzle sessions in restaurants anymore. Because first of all, look at the expense. People have to spend money for the gas to get there, the time to get there and, and all that. When you can do, you know, two, three, four, five Zoom trainings a day. So that's where, where the big difference is right now is being able to teach your people how to Zoom train. And another thing too, and this is huge, I mean, really huge. Amazing people don't think about things like this, but in America, and I'm sure it's the same in the other countries now, because of the inflation, people now, they in America call it the 401ks, that's how they accumulate money for the retirement and they invest in stocks and so forth. They're all losing money because their stocks are going down because they're selling not because they want to sell, but because they want to eat, okay? They're selling their, and their 401ks are going down and they're selling these off because they're buying food and gas. There are people who are walking two hours to get to work because they can't afford gas in 100 degree temperature. I mean, like I already told you before, the price of gas is getting crazy. Okay, now, can you imagine the millions and millions of people who are like, say, within, within five years of retiring, okay? They spend all that time working and planning on having this luxury retirement life. And now they know they're not going to have it. And it was on our news yesterday. They were talking about people working until they're 92. I thought that was kind of, kind of crazy. But then I was kind of joking with people that, you know, all these people can't all be breeders at Walmart, you know, I mean, they, they're, they're not going to have it. So what if you said to them, you know, if I could show you how you can have an extra two to 5,000 a month coming in, in your retirement, would you be willing to listen to a presentation? It'll take about one minute. What are they going to say? See, now here's another thing too, how things are evolving. What I'm saying now, when it worked 10 years ago, because Older people weren't on the internet, okay? And they didn't have mobile devices. Now, everybody has a mobile device. Everybody's on Facebook and so forth, but now it works. So all you do is you say to the person, how long would it take you to find 10 of your friends that would like to have an extra two to five? Five thousand, you know, one minute to explain to you how to do it about as long as it would take me to go on Facebook, okay? Well, then they have 10 friends, right? So then it goes to, uh, from 10, it goes to 100. Then it goes to 1,000, okay? You got more money than you would have ever had coming from your retirement. So they have a way now they can salvage their loss because they're all losing, folks. They're all losing. And that's, I don't know where else they could do anything else that could save, save that for them. So I'm ready for a question. And, you know, some people are too bashful to speak up. You can raise your hand, Adriana, I'll see you on, on YouTube. Uh, you can send a chat to Adriana and she'll ask the question for you.
they can unmute themselves <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Who is the brave one? <laughs> Don't worry, Don is not biting. <laughs> Hi, Don, I have a question. This Go. is Don. I have a question. The question is, um, I know just expounding a bit more on making a connection with the stranger. Um, can you give us some examples? Uh, no, I'm not going to do it because you don't have to. You didn't listen to me. If you do what I'm teaching you here, why would you ever need to talk to a stranger? Well, I mean, Everything? no, I, what I mean is like, if you're in a store and you see someone you like, you can make the connection that way. But no, you're saying no. It's not the it's, way to go. You just know so many people you already know, just meeting a total stranger, you know, that's, that turns into a lot of work. You, know? you don't need to do that. I mean, everybody, once they really understand what it means to own their life, okay? I'll give you a couple of examples here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I own my life. I have time, money, and health, okay? Mm -hmm. And when my two boys were young, okay, I had the time, money, and health to take them an hour a day during the week, one hour, one direction to get their tennis lessons, okay? So they both went to college on tennis scholarships. Okay, because I own my life. Mm -hmm. Now, Greg, you can go and look this up on Google. Look up Jessica Fela. She's my granddaughter. And she, she started learning tennis. Before any. Adrian, can you mute that? So she, she started learning tennis when she was five years old because both her mom and dad are professional uh, tennis coaches now. Okay, so she ended up going to USC on a scholarship that was 62,000 a year. Okay, school was too liberal. She couldn't handle, handle it. She got permission to leave. She ended up uh, going to Pepperdine and that was 72,000 a year. And she was injured her junior year, couldn't play. So she got a year of eligibility. So she got another year of eligibility so she went to grad school, law school there in dispute resolutions, got a master's degree. That was 92,000. And then she goes with the COVID, they canceled the whole season. She got another year, another seven, another 92,000. Totals up to half a million. Why? Because we owned her life. We had the time. And the secret to raising children is time in America. We, we're losing 300 people a day dying from fentanyl. And a lot of those are young people who both parents are working and those kids come home to school. <laughs> I mean, there's no parents there and they're getting together with their buddies and they're trying out all this crazy stuff and they're dropping dead all over the place, okay? We'll never have a problem with a kid, raising a kid, if you spend time with them. You'll be absolutely amazed. But you can only do that if you own your life, have time, money, and health. So when you run into people that have kids like, say, 6 to 12 years old, and now they're participating in like three, four different sports, get them to focus on the one they really like. Get them lessons. The amount of money you're going to spend for lessons is peanuts compared to getting them a scholarship, okay? But, you know, just uh, that, that's the way it is. You spend the time with them. No, we've never had any problem with any of our kids. Joel, he's uh, 17. He just turned 17. Okay, he's already private. He got his private pilot's license. Now, how did he do that? It's expensive, okay? $75 to $100 an hour for instructor when you're starting. $120 an hour to rent the plane, okay? We bought him his own airplane, okay? So now for $20 a day, he can go out and fly two, three hours every day. OK, if we didn't own our life, we couldn't have done that. And in fact, you might not have heard this about the airlines. You don't have to have a college degree now to be a commercial pilot. They're hurting for pilots so bad. You don't have to have a college degree. 
and then they've cut the hours in half you need to get there also. So when, when Joel is 19, he'll already be able to get a job at over 100,000 a year because we owned our life. Now, Josh, he's 22. After his first year in college, I talked him into quitting because he wanted to be a professional photographer. Well, there wasn't a college course he would take that was gonna help him do that. Well, by the time he's 21, he was making $15,000 a month. And he just took a, a, a course, it was $900 for the course, so 3,000 people took the course, it was online from the top cinematographer in the world. Well, out of the 3,000, they had a contest that he, 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 where everybody had to do a five minute film shoot and edit it and so forth. Josh won the contest, okay? And for winning the contest, he got an $8,000 camera and the guy conducting the course has invited him on a film shoot to go to Dubai with him, okay? He even wanted uh, Josh to become his assistant, but Josh, he, he just wants to stay independent. Okay, how did that all happen? Again, because we owned our life. When he started filming, we bought him a drone and got a GoPro camera that attaches to the drone. He's also into mountain biking. So can you imagine the filming you can do with a drone with people going down a windy mountain roads and stuff and flying behind people on kites and stuff like that? He had so much experience with that kind of stuff because he had the drone and the, the GoPro camera because we owned our life. If we didn't own a life, that wouldn't have happened. So let's just give you a little idea. I like to talk about this because when people really get it ingrained in their brain about what it means to have time, money, and health. I mean, look at When I'm out of the country, people guess my age between 62, 63, okay? Well, I was 83 last December. <laughs> people can't believe it. Okay, there's three reasons why I'm not aging. Okay, number one, I do take good health products. Number two, I exercise every day. And the biggest one is I own my life because when you own your life, you don't have stress. And if you don't think stress ages you, look at the American presidents after they're in office six months, okay? Stress is the biggest ager possible. And if you own your life, you don't have it. And uh, I can remember when we first started, Nancy, in her presentation, she used to talk about how we used to have a pile of bills called the Better Luck Next Month pile, okay? That's stress for people, folks. Right now, everybody in America, is, all the middle-class people are totally stressed because they can't afford to buy their food and their gas. I mean, when you got to go spend $120, $150 to fill up your tank, you know, and you got to do that once every a week or two weeks, I mean... You know, that's that's pretty tough. So the biggest thing is when you're like, see, for our industry, there's only a few words that are really important. The biggest one is understand, because people don't understand network marketing. Uh, moved into second place would be duplication, because if you're not duplicating, <laughs> you're not you, you're just not going to build a business. It's impossible. And then, of course, then we get to the own your life. And when people understand that, we got a little saying that when you use that approach, it's like putting a little stone in a person's shoe. See, everybody can relate to having a little stone in their shoe, but they don't do anything about it. But the little stone we put in the shoe has the ability to grow. Kid comes home and says, Mom, Dad, can you go to my football, soccer, baseball, whatever game? And say, gee, sorry, son, but we got to go to our job. Okay, stone just grew. You go get stuck in traffic, you go get into work late and the boss gets on, on your case, the stone just grew. There's so many different ways a stone can grow. I've had people that I've used the own your life approach to that days, weeks, months, and years after I use this approach, I'll get a phone call and they say, Don, are you still doing that business? Now with that, people getting closer to retiring, I mean, these people, they're gonna wish they had gotten started, but they're still not too late for them because now with this the system technology and uh, app people can do so much faster than what they could in the past but it's amazing how many people still want to you know they, they think they got this hot health product and they want to tell people about it I mean, that's great you make a little money doing that but you'll never 
build a big business. Okay, I'm ready for a question, Adriana. Yeah, the, I, I have an additional uh, comment for your uh, answer for down, because usually people just don't know how to do exactly with, with other people, the system, yes? And uh, the, the system is so easy because uh, you have to uh, imagine um, how to ask the right question. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the, the 45 uh, second presentation is uh, such a kind uh, of a right question to ask, is such a universal one. However, when you have somebody special, uh, like a friend that you know him exactly, what uh, in his heart is deep inside, and you know what is the pain of his life, you can um, change uh, the right question according to his heart breaking things. And for example, when somebody has, uh, I don't know, uh, lack of, of healthy, yes, or, or somebody died uh, in, her, uh, in his uh, family, you just can ask him what it, uh, your life look like if you, for example, would be healthy one really healthy can you imagine that it is really possible to be like that have you ever thought about that how it can be done in that way of of your life uh, like you are right now so if you don't have an idea i have such an idea i found something like that i found a man who did something like that that he has on his life over 50 years and he's so happy and so wonderful because everybody are admiring him and wanted to do the same way. He is right now teaching me. Can you imagine this, that such a guy is teaching me personally? If you would like to hear him, listen to him, let me know. I will show you that. Yeah, that's good. One thing that I would like to go over too that I think is really important because people are wondering, well, you know, at what point, how does the product move? Okay. Well, first of all, understand <clears throat> that we're not looking for people that are into health. Okay. Even though we're in a health company. Okay. And you already know why, because you've listened to the Zoom training that eight, oh, it's a very small market. Okay. So once we've gone through the system and the people are ready to sign up, we have a conversation with them about overhead. Now, what that means, everybody knows what overhead is in a business. You know, a traditional uh, business, you put up a building, you got employees, payroll, you got inventory, uh, long hours, and so forth. I mean, we're in a business, okay? Can you imagine? I'll do 150 million this year. And uh, out of that 150 million, I don't handle any of the products, okay? Only ones I handle what I order for myself. I don't have to pay out any commissions or payment to people because the company does that for you, okay? So, I mean, how many businesses do you know where people are doing 150 million a year and I don't even have a secretary, okay? I mean, so you can't, you can't beat, you know, uh, network marketing. So we're ready to get the person started. We talked to them about overhead. And what we tell them is that, you know, every company, you've got to make a purchase of some products. You know, it varies with all the different companies and we don't get into that. Uh, and otherwise you're not going to be getting paid. So you help them pick out a product that they can start with. Now, remember this person's never been in a health food store, never taken a health product and they'll start taking this product because not because it's the overhead for the business is because it's the overhead because they want to own their life. Well, when they start taking the product, if they've never taken a health product before, usually within 10 days, they're going to come to you and say, gosh, I don't know what's in that product you gave me, but it got me started with, but man, that, that stuff really is good. Okay. They're excited about it. Now, most companies have an auto ship program where you get the product the same time each month. But let's say they didn't sign up for the auto ship and let's say they forgot to order the product. And let's say they ran out of the product. The experience they'll have when they run out of the product is greater than the one they had when they went on the product. That's why I have people 
that signed up 25 years ago. They still order every month. Now they're not building a business because we didn't have system app tech. We didn't have any of this stuff, you know, back then, but they love the products, okay? So now here's what happens. When they get excited about the product, most, a lot of companies have a catalog that comes out when they deliver a product, or at least you have all the products are on the internet. Now, before having that experience with the product, they wouldn't give it the time of day to look at those products, other products. But now since they've had the experience, they start looking through the catalog or on the internet, whatever, and they start spotting different things. They say, Jay, I want to try this. I want to try that. You know, different things they want to try. I want you to note that they are selling themselves the products. You never have to sell them anything. I mean, if you're selling anything, it's just the opportunity to own their life. So where they started off, you know, maybe just buying, you know, one or two products, which was a necessity to qualify to get paid. All of a sudden now they're buying three, four, five different products. And uh, you watch your business grow from there. Question. Uh, I would like to ask you, Don, uh, for repeating that what you said yesterday, because it's so brilliant. I think that people are enjoy this very, very much. Uh, you said yesterday about um, asking a young bo young uh, boys or asking someone who is before retired men uh, how to uh, present them the idea of uh, earning additional money or how to present them the idea of what they want uh, at that uh, age. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're talking about like say 18 to 20 years old. You know, we, you know, say what what does a person in that age group want more than a girl? You know, a guy who would want more than a girl. Mm -hmm. uh, the answer everybody says a car or a truck. Okay. So what if you're talking to this person who's 18 years old and you say to him, you know, a lot of you have, you know, uh, People that have kids that are that age, you know, and they'd like to get their kids active in their business, but they're, they, you know, this, going back to sales, they're, you know, they're trying to sell and they know their kids aren't going to want to sell and so they're just doing it all wrong anyway. But what if you just said to the 18 year old, if I could show you how you could be driving a brand new car or truck in two to three months, would you be willing to look at a presentation that will not take more than one minute? What are they going to say? Okay, let's say, no, I'll just soon keep driving my sloppy old jalopy or something. <laughs> you know, they're gonna say, show me, what is it? Well, the presentation is simple, <clears throat> similar to what we did for the old people. How long would it take you to find 10 of your friends that would like to be driving a brand new car or truck in two to three months? And they're gonna say about as long as it'll take me to get on my Facebook. Okay, great. Well. You get those 10 people signed up and then the same thing. They're going to get 10 of their friends each. Now, 10 goes to 1,000 folks. They're driving a brand new car or truck, just going down two levels. That's it. And now, this is where it gets really fun. When they go down three levels, they're making, they're making more money than both their parents put together. You think their parents going to be getting excited about network marketing? That's it. That's simple. It's the same presentation that you do with the old people. How long would it take you to find 10 people that are losing all the retirement that would like to have two to 5,000 a month coming in and so forth? Presentation take about a minute. That's it. I don't know how you can get anything more simple than that. <laughs> it's so brilliant. Really, this, this wording in that sentence is significant yes if you you try to uh, arrange this kind of uh, words in another way a little bit adjusting to another situation of people's life it will really very very easy to do learn just these words yes the simple presentation asking the right questions yeah i mean you just start showing them a product or whatever mm -hmm. you're right away they think you're trying to sell them something or get them to sell and they don't want to sell, you know, you're done. And then after asking the question, just shut up. Yes. <laughs> don't you sell. Got it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Send them to the recording or send them to the Zoom or send them to the book. 
Right. We got the tools. See, that's the thing that I'm excited about because, you know, don't ever think that you have to learn what I've just done to do it yourself because that would not be very bright. Okay. Because it's already done for you. Okay. Just have them go to the Zoom training. See what happens when the new upgraded app comes out. You can look at it this way. It's like you have myself and uh, you've got Jeff from Aldi. And if you're in Poland, you have Adriana and everybody has Dr. Steve Hines. We're all working for you. All you have to do is have people go to the app and let us go to work for you. That's it. See, that's why anybody can build a business. If you can start off with, hey, you know anybody would like to own their life? Have time, money, and health. They do. Yeah, great. Have them go look at the Zoom training. You know, and if they don't want to go look at the Zoom training, they probably weren't going to do anything anyway. So don't see the thing is exciting. I this I should have mentioned this earlier. I don't, it doesn't bother me. And it's not going to bother you when someone says no. And the reason it's not going to bother you because you just wasted one minute of your life. Can you imagine spending days, weeks, and months trying to teach someone how to sell and they go out and talk to two people and they, they already want to quit and then you get the no? <laughs> I mean, that that's devastating. Don't have to worry about it because there's just too many people out there that once they understand it, I want to own their life. Question. You have, well, to, you have the only one chance <laughs> right now. <laughs> I, well, I once, think, the, I, once the app comes out, Adriana, you know, uh, and everybody has these links they can share from the Zoom. And so when we start getting 500, 1500 people on these Zoom calls, but, then it's a little more difficult for people to ask questions. But you know what, um, it is uh, also very important information for you all, because uh, right now, maybe somebody of, of uh, you uh, not understand quite good English. You can just uh, maybe in August, I guess, uh, invite here on that Zoom trainings because, because we will uh, use that uh, simultaneously a translation of uh, that Zooms in any language and uh, probably um, it will be uh, available very soon. So uh, it, it will be much more easier to everybody to understand, even it will be, I don't know, somebody from uh, Spain, from Mexico, from Sweden, or any other countries, or Italia, uh, Italy. So uh, it is, uh, I guess, the, the, the very best news right now. <laughs> and <laughs> what I wanted to say um, more. Well, what, sometimes, so sometimes I know what I wanted to say. Um, the, the, the very uh, often excuse uh, about not doing MLM if somebody is already signed up is that, that somebody shows the downline, that prospect, something that is for him a little bit difficult to do and in fact you have to have something very simple to share with him otherwise he will have a lot of excuses to not to do the mlm yes and when you start with presentation maybe a little presentation with your company for the very beginning they are just afraid because they will have to repeat this presentation they will have to read it uh, learn it one uh, like you or they have to for example post posts uh, on facebook like you <laughs> this is not the way of doing that yes in fact well people need to understand this is the biggest industry in the world where the blind are leading the blind uh, people that don't have a clue about how this industry works or out teaching other people how to do it. And you can spot them. Like if you're at a, a meeting uh, from the company and someone's up there doing a training and they tell the new people, the first thing they need to do is make a list of a hundred names, man, that's wrong. I mean, that's what a sales manager tells the salesperson to do. Why do you need a list of a hundred names to sponsor one person? Starts with one. 
Now, I tell people, if you really need a list of names, just make a list of five of your friends that you would like to help them own their life. So in a year from now, you can all go on a cruise together. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. When, when I uh, was uh, in my first uh, MLM, maybe this was not MLM because it was direct saving company, direct, direct sales company, uh, my sponsor, uh, or <laughs> let's say this was not sponsor, yes, my leader <laughs> said something to me, make a list 100 of people that you know. And I have abdominal pain, really. What? What she wants? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Look at your phone. There should be so many people that you can contact with. You are crazy, yes? <laughs> well, I tell you, all the seminars I've done all over the world, if I were to pick out the number one thing people tell me afterwards is they said, telling about the list of names was like taking a monkey off my back. Yeah. Another thing too, you got to be careful here about these people that are out trying to tell you they're going to be making a lot of money in three to four months. I mean, folks, it doesn't happen. It really doesn't. I mean, maybe one person out of 10,000 gets lucky and hits the jackpot by bringing some of the right people real quick, but it virtually doesn't happen. And I tell people my number one recommendation for a new person getting started is to get a job. Because there isn't a network marketing company in the world that you can start off your first month and pay your mortgage, your car payment, your credit cards, put food on the table, buy gas. I mean, there, you can't do it. So you need a job that can support you. Now, the thing about the job, you don't have to like it because you have a light at the end of the tunnel. You have a way out. What about the millions of people that don't have a way out? Now, there's two exceptions to what I just said. If you have a spouse like I did that can support the family while you're doing the foundation, okay? Or if you have enough money in the bank to live on comfortably for one to two years while you're doing the foundation, then you don't need the job. Usually people are asking something yes. Uh, regarding uh, how long should they stay on that job? That means uh, if they will earn uh, double or three times uh, their monthly earnings or, or salary or something like that, how long do you, do you have any recommendation of that? Well, just they should stay on the job until they have enough money coming in from the network marketing business to cover all their bills, you know, pay for everything. If you, if you don't have that, then you're gonna to have to have some money coming from another source. I, I love being able to get someone started that already has a job. I've got a new person that had recently started. He has his own business. He did 60,000 last month and he wants, he wants to be out of his business. And his biggest reason why is about, you know, he got in his head about owning your life. He has a three-year-old daughter. He has another one-year-old, one-year-old uh, daughter. And uh, he told me that the other day, uh, his uh, three-year-old, when she woke up in the morning, was crying. And she was crying because her daddy wasn't there. And he wants to be there, okay? So that's, so, you know, I mean, this guy, he can't wait. In fact, it's the first time I think I've ever seen in my history in network marketing where the owner of a business is actually sponsoring some of the people that are working for them. Most owners won't do that because when they become successful, they're gonna leave and then they're gonna to have to retrain some new people. But that's how powerful it is when people really understand what it can mean to be able to own your life. There is a question in the chat uh, from Petra. Uh, what do you do if you have burned your direct contacts? Well, with this approach, once you understand it, you can never burn out people everybody wants to own their life they just don't know what it is that's it you, you never run out of people to talk to yeah because we are not selling that uh, in, in that approach anything yes so even no. if you have somebody who is your uh, direct contact and you burn this you can talk to with uh, uh, him or her uh, about uh, owning uh, their life yes Without you remember, any problems. 
you know, the business is about making a friend if you don't have any, of course, and meeting their friends. But everybody with this approach being so simple, they already have enough friends that they should be able to get at least one that they can get started. And then they start meeting their friends and then et cetera, et cetera. In the process of meeting their friends going down line, someone else will surface that you'll be able to talk to. Yes, and also the apologetic approach is very useful in that case. Yeah. yeah, especially if you've been in the business a while and you talk to people that only stayed with you for two, three months because they didn't want to sell, yeah. you can get back to them and rejuvenate those people. Well, if we don't have any more questions, I think I'm going to go have lunch. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there we go. You got a question? Come on. Sasha. I thought Sasha had a question. Sasha. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So thank you so much, too. Uh, we will see uh, next week uh, together. If you have any um uh, Willing to join, please join. I will be very happy. We will be very happy. Of course, invite your friends here because, as you know, the, this these meetings are completely neutral. We are not talking about any company. We are not recruiting to anything. So you can hey, use. Hey, Adrian, hey, yeah. Adrian, let me let me mention something here. Mm -hmm. If if you just seen this thing for the first time, and you go out and you start talking to some people, and they say, "Well, I don't like to sell," or They'll say, I don't have time or what you say, gee, that's what Don was saying, <laughs> you know? So all of a sudden, you know, when you come back the next time, it, it all sinks in a little deeper once, once mm -hmm. you've heard this thing two or three times. Yeah, there is also an additional uh, last question. If my prospect doesn't understand English, I used to sit with them and explain the first four napkin presentation. I hope I'm not making mistake for doing so. What, what language do they understand? I don't know. Uh, where are you from? What, what the language is? Please let us know on the chat. Abdul Malik, if, if you are from, I don't know, Nigeria or where? Where are you from? So whoever had the question can tell us where they're from. Maybe we could help you. Mm -hmm. But if there, there is really no, no uh, translation of your book into uh, that language, uh, so it is no other way just to explain them very, very quickly the four napkin presentation, yes, or, or what to do in such a situation. Adriana, Adriana, I have a publisher in Nigeria. Ah, in Nigeria publisher, okay. Abdullah. But any other languages, for example, it's such a universal uh, question. Ah, well, I'm from Nigeria, Nigeria, they only understand Hausa language. You can use uh, that uh, recordings, maybe on YouTube, there is such a language uh, with such a subtitles. I don't know. Adriana, my <laughs> understanding that most people in Nigeria do understand English. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, if you are curious about different countries where my book's available, if you go to the number 45 second.com, www.45second.com, and you open up the home page, you'll see Don and Nancy, and scroll down. It says local publishers. It has all my publishers there around the world. Mm -hmm. So if you need a book in Chinese, Japanese, you know, whatever, French, German, Italian, you're all there. In fact, just for what it's worth, uh, if you go on that website and go to Italian, that's where you can order these pins. And they come in a, they come in a little box. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, yeah, mm. like this. <laughs> oh, nice. That, that's uh, Giancarlo Barati. He's been publishing my book for over 15 years. He's in Bologna, Italy. 
I understand that this is the correct uh, direction of um, having that because you have this uh, in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. they, they, that's, this would be the least expensive way to get them. You know, I wouldn't just buy one. I'd buy, but, you know, buy 10 or 20 some for your people and so forth. But, you know, if you get them other places in the world, you know, shipping them, is, you know, that gets to be expensive. But, but this guy has the best bet on pins. And you'll give you quantity breaks on it. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. So thank you very much once again. And see you next week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kisses, bye. Good night, good advent. <laughs>